This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. Over the weekend, Donald Trump posted on Truth Social this bizarre video about God made Trump. There are two things that animate the Republican Party right now, ignorance and pride. Sometimes they're, it's, a, it's an unholy amalgam of the two. Uh, pride in their ignorance. Last week, on the 3rd of January, I believe, I did a video about Brendan Dilley, this maniac who has direct access to the Trump campaign and to Trump himself, who has threatened violence. We're just waiting for the order from Donald Trump, and we're going to be out there, all these 2A, these Second Amendment-loving people, and we're going to be murdering protesters. That's what he said. Here's the clip. In fact, here's the clip because the video I'm getting ready to play, this God made Trump thing, was made by Brendan Dilley. The same guy I've been harping about made this thing that went viral, that Trump shared that he was made by God to save America. First, though, give you a flavor for who Donald Trump is connected to related to this nonsense. Brendan Dilley saying he's going to go out there and murder president, uh, uh, protesters as soon as his president tells him to do so. So you better pray to God, and I mean this literally, or whoever the fuck it is you pray to, okay? That Donald J. Trump, President of the United States, and Attorney General Barr clean this up lawfully. Because if for any reason the President of the United States feels that it's not getting done the way it should, and decides to put out the tweet that says, my fellow Americans... My fellow 2A loving Americans, it's time to take up arms against these assholes. You are all fucked in under an hour. Under one hour, you're done. Every one of you. We're all just at home, hanging out, or we're on vacation like me right now, watching you idiots behave the way you do, waiting for that one tweet, that one emergency text message from the fucking President of the United States that gives us the green light to finish this entire thing in under an hour. It will not be law enforcement. It will not be one of these slow bureaucratic justice system wheels of justice turning. It'll be a group of people you didn't even know fucking existed because we were at our houses. We got off work. We were with our families, but we were ready for that call. And if that call ever does come, you will be fucked seven ways from Sunday. So that's who we're dealing with. That type of person, that type of maniac, that type of mindset, that type of, of dedication to the prospect of creating propaganda for his dear leader. Remarkable. So here is the God made Trump video that was supplied to the campaign by that person you just watched, Brendan Dilley, and uh, went crazy, not just on True Social, but on Twitter as well. Watch the, listen, if you haven't seen it, prepare yourself for the nuttiest shit you'll probably see all week. Watch this. And on June 14th, 1946, God looked down on his planned paradise and said, I need a caretaker. So God gave us Trump. God said, I need somebody willing to get up before dawn fix this country, work all day, fight the Marxists, eat supper, then go to the Oval Office and stay past midnight at a meeting of the heads of state. So God made Trump. I need somebody with arms, strong enough to rustle the deep state, and yet gentle enough to deliver his own grandchild. Somebody to ruffle the feathers, tame cantankerous World Economic Forum, come home hungry, have to wait until the First Lady is done with lunch with friends, then tell the ladies to be sure and come back real soon and mean it. So God gave us Trump. I need somebody who can shape an ax but wield a sword, who had the courage to step foot in North Korea, who can make money from the tar of the sand, turn liquid to gold, who understands the difference between tariffs and inflation, will finish his 40-hour week by Tuesday noon, but then put in another 72 hours. So God made Trump. God had to have somebody willing to go into the den of vipers, call out the fake news for their tongues as sharp as a serpent's. The poison of vipers is on their lips and yet stop. So God made Trump. God said, 
I need somebody who will be strong and courageous, who will not be afraid or terrified of the wolves when they attack, a man who cares for the flock, a shepherd to mankind who won't ever leave nor forsake them. I need the most diligent worker to follow the path and remain strong in faith and know the belief of God and country, somebody who's willing to drill, bring back manufacturing and American jobs, farm the lands, secure our borders, build our military, fight the system all day, and finish a hard week's work by attending church on Sunday. And then his oldest son turns and says, Dad, let's make America great again. Dad, let's build back a country to be the envy of the world again. So God made Trump. Brought to you by... The man who is ready to kill extrajudiciously, extra-constitutionally, protesters in the street. Willing to execute, ready to execute people exercising their First Amendment right to, of redressing their government. Several pro very problematic things, even for Republicans, there are several things in here that should be troubling to them. People who consider themselves uh, devout Christians, these, these comparisons, these calling Donald Trump a shepherd for mankind. These are terms and, and comparisons made for Jesus the Christ, not Donald Trump, the however many times divorced, unfaithful man the man who promotes violence. He's the shepherd of the flock of mankind. Also, a little irritating that this they would presume that God would be obsessed with the manufacturing jobs in America, that America's manufacturing prowess, America's ability to, to drill oil, that's, that's a priority for God, not starving children, not the poor and the disenfranchised, the forgotten in the world, because, you know, America's not just, or the, 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 the world that, that God created ostensibly doesn't made up of just America, unless you're a Republican and th this is it. This is, this is it, just, just, just our country. And the laughable assertion that Donald Trump attends any church services whatsoever. The only time you're going to catch Donald Trump in a church is when he's forced to go to a funeral. When's the last time you saw Donald Trump at, in a worship service that wasn't a campaign event? Now, this is common. I actually, I know people who believe Donald Trump is a mighty righteous man of God, a pious Christian who does attend weekly church services. <laughs> Those people are stupid to be sure, but they exist by maybe the millions out there. This video just should really, I also, let me say this. Where's Paul Harvey's family? Are, are they okay with his voice being cloned and being added to this? This nonsense, this, this, this hearsay, this babbling idiocy with his voice appended to it? They have no adherence to facts. They have no adherence to the truth all it is is propaganda and, and, and effective propaganda through repetition, they hope. That if they can continue to say it over and over and over and over and over and over that God made Trump, God made Trump for America, God's behind the candidacy of Donald Trump, that maybe there's some modicum, there's some measure of, of, of Republican out there who will begin to buy it, or at least they'll double down in their belief that it's true. Donald Trump doesn't represent Christianity. Donald Trump doesn't represent the ideologies that were taught by Jesus. The Republican Party is at odds 
with the philosophies and the teachings of Jesus Christ. Suffer the little children to come unto me. Unless they're brown, then get them the fuck out of here. That's the Republican mantra. What do you think? I'd love to know. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail. Did you see this? I'd love to know. 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me as always daily at dollamore.com. I would love to absolutely, or I would absolutely love <laughs> to hear from you. Uh, if you appreciate what I do, my take, my analysis, the commentary I provide, I would appreciate if you would consider supporting and producing what I do here. For $2 a month, you can help do that. Click the join button below. Hit the super thanks button. Go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. All those are great ways to help support what we're doing here. And I would appreciate it very, very much. Uh, follow me on social media. I'm at Dollamore on Twitter, Instagram, Threads, TikTok, Facebook, Blue Sky, all of them. If there's social media, it's likely that I'm there, unfortunately. Uh, and I'm at Dollamore. I'd love to see you. Uh, until next time, be genuine. Take care of one another.